Okay, on this Prius right here, we will go over some pressures and temperatures a little bit. This is a 2005. It takes 520 grams of refrigerant. We've been idling for almost five minutes now. Our outdoor bulb temperature taken from the thermistor located right here, that little tiny silver bead on the end of that wire. That right there takes the temperature. I'm taking the temperature of the air being pulled in over the condenser. Here are temperatures. I do not, I have it on recycle, so I'm not taking the temperature of the air being pulled in right here. That gets sucked in through those openings and then drops in top of the filter. Right now I have the filter out of the vehicle inside and I'm on recycling, so I'm using the cold air inside. And if you look right here, the air coming out of the dash is 43 degrees. The air temperature inside the car is 57 degrees. Here's our liquid line high side pressure, 137.38, 31 degrees. Uh, outside bulb temperature. And so we have a drop across the evaporator of only 13 degrees. We have a superheat of 18 up plus or minus. We have a subcooling of roughly six, seven. I'm taking the subcooling over there and, I, and I'm right by the exhaust manifold and I do not have insulation to protect my thermistor that's part of the gauge against the radiant heat of the exhaust manifold that's very hot back there. Now we're going to do a little experiment here. This I'm taking the temperature of the air that's being pulled back in. This is a somewhat dirty filter. Let's see what anything changes. Okay. And as you can see, it's starting to get cold and chill up right here. I'm starting to get the tattoo signs of a decently charged system, but not all the time. You could get that on a half charged system on a cold day. Little bit of movement. Now let's switch to outside air. So now I'm taking the temperature of the air that's going to be sucked in on top of the evaporator. Let's go up climate. Let's get out of recycle and go to fresh air. Now we're going to go to fresh air with that slightly clogged air filter. It's not a new clean air filter. And you get to see our pressures go up. Here's the temperature of the air that is being sucked in. This is not a hot end, a very hot engine yet. So our air temperature is actually down compared to the outdoor bulb here. So we got 81 degrees. The air going down over the filter is 81 degrees, 82 degrees right now. So right now we have a delta T, a drop across the evaporator inside, 34 degree drop. If you come to our liquid line temperature, our liquid line temperature is the temperature of the refrigerant coming out of the liquid line. And I have my clamp right there on this liquid line. Remember, here's the outside door, outside temperature taken right here going across the condenser. And here's our liquid line. So we got a 15 degree drop in temperature in these working conditions. And as you notice, the system is experiencing a load because of a higher temperature air because I went from recycle and I turned it to fresh air. So now it has a higher load on it so it has to work higher so you see the high side pressure going up. 
and the uh, compressor will constantly change its RPMs, its displacement. And as you see, the superheat has moved. Superheat, subcooling. And this will constantly move up and down as it stays out because this is not a fixed speed compressor. So if you just take a snapshot right after you put a test, then you'll get a different mark. That's it for now.